Hello, sports fans. It is I, Noma, back with another card opening video. I hope that your day is going great. My day was going great until I started watching Game 7 of the Eastern Conference Finals with my Celtics against the Heat, and it's halftime, and it's not going well. So I'm going to uh, just take a little break <laughs> from all that. Celtics are currently down. I think it's 13 points, so... Either we're about to see another great comeback or a great heartbreak. Anyway, life goes on. You may notice that this box looks a little funny. It looks like maybe the cellophane has been ripped. That's because it has. I opened it up and I felt all the packs because one out of three of these packs in uh, 2022 Heritage High Number has a relic. Two out of three have a relic. One out of three has an auto. And I just bought quite a bit of this product because it was on sale. I don't want to waste everybody's time and jam up the channel with openings that don't contain an autograph. So if I should happen to open a relic that is signed or is exceptionally cool in some way, I will figure out a way to share it with you guys. But for now, I'm just going to focus on the autographs. Last one of these that I opened that had an autograph was a redemption for Juan Soto, a $200 book value card. I'm very excited about that. So we'll see what fate has in store for us this evening with this little number. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already done that. I really, really appreciate it. It helps the channel grow. As I kind of butcher this uh, this box, but trying to trying to display it for you in the background here as we as we open. All right, there we go. All right, the box stopper is going to be a Ted Kubiak. Kubiak? Kubiak? I don't know much about him. Is he at the Coliseum there? The soon-to-be former Oakland Coliseum since they're moving to Vegas? I don't know. Looks like he uh, likes to do artwork. That's cool. Good for you, Ted. Almost looks like he's holding a baseball glove, that little palette there. Anyway, I guess we'll put that on the stage until something knocks it off. That's a good looking card. I like how the A's uh, hat matches the grass behind him. Uh, this is the deal. You know, you either get a little um, oversized like jumbo box topper or you get like a, a buyback like that thing. So we'll just leave that back there for you. I'm going to go ahead and um, get rid of the uh, opening off camera just because it tends to take a long time and create a lot of camera wobble when I do it on camera. I hope that nobody minds that too much. If it bothers you, let me know in the comments. Obviously, as I'll share my usual caveat, I would not do this if you had bought into a break with me, but I haven't done any of those yet, so it's a bit of a moot point. Or a mute point, as they like to say here in rural Arizona where I live. I'm going to open the window here a little bit, get a little fresh air coming in as well. Oh, it feels so nice. Beautiful evening here. Hope that it's beautiful where you are. All right, let's get to it. I'm not going to dilly-dally too long with these cards unless it's a good card, just because I've already opened a box of this, so you guys are already pretty familiar with it, not to mention 2023 is coming out. Actually, it already is out. I'm just waiting on my first um, box of it, which I will happily open for you on the channel. Looks like that's at Fenway. There's Raffi in the background. I love those little details on cards. Bryson Stott, decent player. So, Josh Lau. That looks, yep, that's an image variation, Josh Lau. That's a nice card given how well he's doing. Or is he low? Is it Brandon Lau and Josh Lowe? Is that it? Someone tell me in the comments, please. That would be awesome if you could let me know. So those uh, image variations, they used to be called action variations in Heritage, and now they're called image variations. But those are somewhat valuable. I pulled a bow. That's a cool Rod Carew card. I pulled a Beau Bichette image variation in my last video, and I got very excited Mackenzie Gore. Turns out it's only a um, ten dollar book value card, which surprised me. Royce is about to come back with a force. You watch. Keep your eye on Royce. I've been saying it for several videos now. 
first uh, pile is down. We'll open the next pile. But um, anyway, I'm guessing that Josh Lau Low <laughs> might be worth a little bit more since it is a rookie card. Uh, my best guess is that probably books around $30. It's about to take center stage in the in the video until we can open up the next autograph, which hopefully is coming soon. Had some good luck with autographs here lately. I'm sort of posting these videos a bit out of order just because I have some travel coming up, so I'm kind of trying to save some good stuff for you guys for when I'm gone. But if you have not yet seen my Jaron Duran Heritage Auto, that is going to be coming up very soon. I'm just going to leave these guys down in the orchestra. They're not quite stage worthy. All right, here's the next group. Let's see. There's Julio. He'll go up on the stage in just a moment. Love to get a Julio image variation out of this. Not likely, there's Pena, not likely to get it in this box because the image variations are I think about every, oh, 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 go, 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 okay. All right. Well, this is a, this is a clubhouse. This is either going to be a big card. Let me rephrase it. It's either going to be a huge card or it's going to be a, like, once in a lifetime card. Here's what we know so far. We know it's a triple something we know that it's numbered. It is Clubhouse Collection, so I don't think it's an auto. So maybe not a life-changing card, but a big chart card. 14 out of 25. That is a triple Relic Rangers. Okay, so a big card. And a beautiful one at that. I feel like it's a little thinner than a typical Clubhouse Collection card. Because when I was feeling the packs, it turns out that I have sadly misled you, my, my lovely and loyal viewers, because this is not going to contain a autograph. Usually I can tell. Usually the, the pack is very stiff when it's a Clubhouse Collection. I think that one might be a little thinner than usual. I don't know that I've ever pulled a triple relic out of Heritage, and I've opened a lot of it. My immediate dilemma is that one of my favorite trade partners on the bench, Desi Girl, is a huge Rangers fan. I'm guessing she's going to want that card. Do I offer it to her? I really like it. <laughs> I really like it a lot. Boy, that's going to be an interesting question. Very cool YouTube video up about him and how hard he is to hit. I don't remember who... Uh, posted it. That got me really excited for a second because when I saw that one, I thought it might be a one of one card. O'Neal. When I um, saw that it was multiple players, I thought it might be a multi autographed card. That would have just blown me away. But I'm very happy with this box so far. We're only halfway through and we've got a triple relic and we've got a Josh Lowe I'm pretty sure it's Nate Lau, Josh Lowe. Josh Lau doesn't say, it's, yeah, they spell it the same. It's Nate Lau, Josh Lowe. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I'm pretty sure that's correct. So to have a big rookie image variation, because he's really doing well and his cards are climbing in value for sure. Actually, uh, Silver and Black, my buddy John over on Sports Card Forum is probably going to be after that card too, that Josh Lau. We'll just have to, well, <laughs> we'll just have to see if I want to offer it for trade. I know we've got a black refractor. Oh, this is a nice box. We're getting very lucky this evening. Nice stuff. Coming up, we're going to have a Nolan Ryan. Hunter Green needs to go somewhere. Oh, oh that Julio needs to go on the stage. That's the problem. That Nolan is pretty cool. I love the eye black. Only Nolan would wear eye black as a pitcher. That's just legendary. 
And I have a close friend who is cousins with Nolan Ryan and has a ball that he signed with Bobby. That he signed for him when he was a little kid, which is really awesome. Go ahead and put Julio up on the stage. Sorry, that's like a super awkward reach there. Mm, hello. All right. Sorry. <laughs> it's a little later in the day than I usually record. A little bit punchy. I've had an awesome day. Very, uh, very relaxing. Connected with family. We had a family member just got out of the hospital. Got to spend a lot of time with him. Got to spend some quality time with my spouse. Got some rest. Got all three dogs groomed. Life is good. Okay. This is looking like a diamondback. Oh, it's my boy Cole. Hey, that's cool. Very cool. Definitely take that card. Uh, Spencer Otto, uh, Spencer Rookie, rather. For those of you that are not familiar, um, Cole Tucker, I'm, I'm a big Red Sox fan growing up in Boston, and I've, I've lived twice in Colorado. It's a big Rockies fan. Uh, he was a non-roster invitee by the Rockies, and um, he signed a ton in spring training. I, I still love getting autographs. been getting autographs for, gosh, I don't know, 32 years now, 33 years, long time. Uh, this is a refractor to 73. If this was Julio, I would be currently not sitting here. I'd be running around my office screaming like a lunatic. Um, I haven't opened one of those uh, life-changing cards yet on the channel. I'm sure eventually I will because I open a lot of baseball cards. And at this point, I record everything that I open here with you guys. Uh, you know, I've gotten some huge cards over the years and probably one of the best ones was a, a color autograph, uh, Chrome rookie of Vladdy. And another huge one was a Tatis that I pulled actually out of a national baseball card day. One of the things I loved about that was that it was a free pack. I mean, who pulls a Tatis out of a free pack? I got a Julio Auto to 199 out of uh, 2022 Tops Hobby. I pulled some big cards. That's just a few of them I can think of off the top of my head at the end of the day. Bobby, rookie performers. Sorry, Ted Kubiak. I think that's going to push you off the stage. And I don't really know why Johan, 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 I don't know why he's in there in the orchestra. He doesn't really belong there. Let's move these things around a little bit. There we go. That looks better. Yeah, nice stage, nice orchestra. Very, very good box. Very good box. Anyway, one of these days, you guys are going to get to hear me go completely out of my mind crazy. I am aware I just passed over this. Uh, he should be in there somewhere. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to go absolutely nuts. And that's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to... Um, Spare you guys the time of going through all of these for the short prints, but just a reminder, you do want to flip them over and check. Anything above 700 is going to be a short print, and you also want to check and make sure, because I've had, so nothing in that last pile, um, I've had situations where I, I skipped right over an, an image variation or a missing stars or color swap. Uh, well... Nice little box, nice little box. As you can see in the orchestra and on the stage, we got all the big rookies. Of course, Tor, Julio, and Bobby are the big ones in this. Got two Bobbies. Um, given the fact that his hair looks exactly the same, I mean, granted it's the same person, but I'm guessing these were taken the same day, very shortly after one another. That would be my guess. Could be wrong, just because, you know, Someone with long hair, their hair is going to look slightly different day to day. Neither here nor there, really. Okay, so all of that is cool. Uh, if we had just gotten a normal Clubhouse Collection Relic, I would be happy because of the Josh Lowe short print variation. That is extra, extra cool. And you'll have to forgive me because we already went through this when I pulled the, Bouch the Bouchette. But let's just take a quick look here. Image variations are, yeah, one in 66 packs. 50, I can't tell if that's a five or a six. 
one in 66 packs. Sure enough. So I opened 24 packs. So roughly one in every three boxes, a little more than one in every three boxes, um, but fractionally speaking, one in every three boxes, but probably five to a case, I would say. Um, so that's really cool to get an image variation, especially of a rookie. Again, you know, obviously it would go crazy if it was a Bobby or a Julio or a Torque, but realistically, I cannot complain at all about that. That's a very sweet card of an up and coming player. Um, yeah, my, my buddy John has got a, a Wander Green parallel that I like that he probably would trade that for it, but I might need to keep that. I, I get really attached to cards that I pull. It's just a weird kind of thing. If I'd gotten that in trade, I would flip it, but I don't think I'm going to. This is just a beaut. That is a gorgeous card. And the Rangers are really coming. You know, they're really playing well. I think what makes this card so cool, and the reason I'll probably keep it, I really like the three different colors. That's obviously a bat. And then you've got different, that's a road jersey. And that's, I think they wear the blue one on the road too sometimes. I think that's right. Did they wear the red one at home? And the white? I don't remember. There's so many jerseys now. Rangers that I know of have the red jersey, the blue jersey, the white jersey, the gray jersey, and then they're going to have their City Connect as well, which is so that at least five, if not more, probably they have a throwback jersey. And I personally am all for it. I was actually watching earlier the uh, Twins-Astros game, and the Astros had their their uh, Space City jerseys on, the City Connect. It looks so good. And the Twins had their City Connect, I guess, away jersey, or I don't know what it was, but they're they're great. Does it make me want to buy more hats? Yeah. Does it make me want to buy more jerseys? Yeah. Is that the whole point? Is it a marketing ploy? Probably. Does it make it fun? Yes. <laughs> the whole thing is supposed to be fun. Why wouldn't we want more fun? Okay. Anyway, I'm digressing pretty bad here. If these were all like gray or all white, this card would be way less interesting. And the colors, you know, really rocking that 70s vibe. I believe these are based on the... Let's see, 70, 71, yeah, the 73. I believe these are the 73 cards because 2019 was 1970. So 2020 is 71, 21 is 70. Yeah, so these are 1973 tops cards that these are based off of. And that, that's definitely a color scheme you would have found back then. Uh, just to wrap up the video, we'll take another look at this guy as well. Actually, let's just, uh, we'll do a quick review. We'll do a quick recap. We'll end with those guys. Uh, yeah. By the way, another interesting story about Cole Tucker, besides the fact that I like him a lot because he just signs a lot and interacted with fans a lot and was just exceptionally nice and cool. He is um, engaged to Vanessa. Uh, I'm not, I'm not big on, I'm not big on this stuff, but he's engaged to that actress, Vanessa. Uh, what's her name? who's in, I believe it's High School Musical. I'm so out of the loop with this stuff. <clears throat> but I was reading about it. Beautiful, beautiful actress. Very wealthy, famous, well-known actress. Uh, he's engaged to her. And apparently he had a massive crush on her back in the day. So it's very similar to uh, Machine Gun Kelly having a poster of Megan Fox on his, on his wall when he was a kid and uh, growing up to be married to her. You know, very similar kind of thing. It's just, you know, way to manifest, dude. Like, that's amazing. And since I'm a meditation teacher, I like the fact that they met in a meditation class. That's also very cool. All right, so Mackenzie Gore starting to live up to his potential. I should not have put this in the... No, I should have. Sorry, for a second there, I didn't think it was his rookie and I didn't see it. So, yeah, Stott should be in there. Just all day long with Nolan and his eye black. I mean, it kills me. It's so great. Does book value matter? Yeah. Does sale value matter? Yeah. Would I rather have a thousand dollar card than a dollar card? Of course. But we have to remember just to appreciate all these little details from when we were growing up, in my opinion. You know, some of my favorite cards are not worth very much, but they're worth a lot to me just because I think they're beautiful. I dig them. There's some detail, like that card I pointed out at Fenway with, uh, I think it was the either Duplan or Batista rookie. I don't remember. Might have been Bradish. It was an Oriole, I think, with uh, Rafi dancing around in the background. You know, just these little things that are fun. 
Shohei, you know, he's fun, you might say. Hoping for a big comeback from him. I did open an auto of this before I had the channel, um, and I got a real one autograph of his, which is a sweet card. I was trying to get another uh, rookie of his off of a trading partner on the bench, and it fell through, and I was so bummed. I really like O'Neal Cruz. He's going to be good. I have like a million of this card. If you're looking for this card, let me know, and we can uh, work out a trade. Torque. The rookie performers, Bobby. The base, Bobby. The great manifester, Cole Tucker. Always positive attitude. Much love to you, Cole Tucker. Awesome card. Awesome guy. An inspiring story. You know, major league player marries, I want to say it's Vanessa Hudgens, but that could be way wrong. Marries his, uh, his childhood crush. How sweet is that? These are the two big boys of this uh, video for sure. Um, yeah. To get either of these in, in one box, I would be very, very happy to get both of them, especially since this product is on sale now because 23 is out, so people are more interested in that. I mean, people just have a short attention span. Don't sleep on this Heritage when it goes on sale. I'm buying a lot of 2020, 2021, 2022 Heritage because it's a very affordable, relatively speaking. I mean, obviously, it's an expensive hobby. Very affordable. You can get some unbelievably huge cards, like that one Soto Redemption I pulled. I mean, I'm just waiting on a Bobby autograph out of this. I've gotten a Torque autograph out of it. I'm waiting on a Julio autograph out of it. But, I mean, not to mention Trout autos. I mean, it's just there's just so much good stuff. So, yeah, feast your eyes on those two. That is just a great duo, a great box. And anything can be had for the right price, but... Mm, Right now, <laughs> my gut is I'm keeping these two cards. They're going to go in the PC. So thank you again, everybody, for watching. Uh, it's always a joy to have you here on the channel. Uh, we want to be a fun, life-giving, inspiring channel. We want to make you happy. It should be fun. It's got to be fun. It's baseball cards. What could be more fun than baseball cards? Want to bring a little light into your day. Want to get your day off to a good start or end it on a good note, depending on when you like to watch your YouTube videos. I know for me, you know, Scotty B, Jabs, Striker, One Cent Sport Cards, you know, the guys that I really love watching, Ethan, Sports Cards and more, uh, all those guys. You know, it's, it's, it's just a light, fun thing. Life can be really hard. So I want to share my joy and my love of this hobby with you. Make your life a little easier, a little better. Uh, hopefully inform, inspire, uh, help you help you understand more about the hobby, appreciate the hobby more. That's the intention. So thank you again so, so much for joining me. It's uh, great having you here. And I want to, before we go, I want to take a quick, you know what I'm going to do? Since we talked about him a little bit in the video. First person who is subscribed to the channel to leave a comment on this video. So you have to either subscribe or already be subscribed. I will send this card to you. Look at that beauty. He's very talented. This is going to be a good card long term. Love the glove. I love anybody that can throw a 100 mile an hour splitter. <laughs> and where's that glove? <laughs> God love him. All right. So comment as a subscriber and I will send you that card. You'll have to uh, reach out to me uh, in the comments and I can let you know how to get a hold of me. If you want the card, I'll send it to you. All right, please give me a like. It's that little thumbs up down there. Please give me a like. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Please let me know what you'd like to see more of, less of. This channel is for you, so uh, we're doing it together. Let me know what, what you'd like to see. Thank you so, so much for joining me. I've, I've just been really blown away by the support I've been getting from everybody. And uh, this is completely tangential, and I am so sorry, but I just noticed something really cool. What do you notice about these six guys? I'll tell you what I notice. Different photo, different photo, different photo, different photo. This is the same photo. They put the line there, but this is a, an action shot of Freddie and Chris. How cool is that? I just love those little details. Well done, Tops. This is a great product. This is a fun product. Tops does a great job with this. So, hope you enjoy the rest of your day or evening, whatever it is that you're up to. And please join me for another video tomorrow. And no matter what is going on in your day, 
good, bad, or somewhere in between, please remember, no ma loves ya. Take care, everybody.